Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to be taking a look at a rig that I've been putting together. Now, as many of you will know, I am giving one of these cases away. I have done two that are very, very similar. I will make the link pop up for you. So just so that you're aware, I am giving away a case that looks just like this but without the hardware. Um, I'm also giving away an Asus Maximus uh, 6 Formula, an Asus Maximus 6 Hero, and then we've also got uh, the uber special TTL goodie bag, and I'm not going to tell you what I'm putting in it, um, mainly because I'm probably going to tail it to tailor it to whoever wins. Um, but I've done two cases this time, and they are very similar. And if you've not seen, then why not? Uh, but this is going to be my GPU test rig. I've got the white custom 540 Air that I did, which I'm gonna be using for uh, my motherboard test rig. Uh, and this is gonna be just for testing graphics cards. But what I've done is I've, uh, I've built this system up because this is going to be going on the Asus Republic of Gamers Gand stand rather at the upcoming i-Series i51 event on um, Easter bank holiday weekend. So I've put this rig together and this is going to go up and it's going to be a feature on the Asus stand and I thought I'd give you a look. Now obviously when I start testing graphics cards in it, we won't have the Asus Matrix graphics cards in it, but I thought I'd give you all a look round because I know you do like to look at these uh, custom rigs. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, uh, I, I'm going to try my best to kind of give you a good look round. We're also going to do a bit where I'm going to try and close the blinds and stuff because it does, when it's lit up, it does look awesome. But, yeah, I'm going to shut up and show you around. Okay, so we've got the uh, top panel, and you can, if you've not already noticed, it's been custom pinstriped by my magical friend. That is a bit like Banksy. Um, I did come up with the basic ideas, and we have got the uh, reflective back on here again. And when, you, uh, if you, when you're at the show, if you take a picture of this uh, with your camera phone flash, or you get it in a bit of indirect light, the the, the, the stripes just come alive, and you'll, it's it's I love it. But anyway, um, I understand that with a lot of these custom designs, that they can be a bit marmite, and that's perfectly fine. This is just kind of a bit of a uh, event or an outlet for me to do something a bit different. I get bored of using plain cases in the office. Uh, so I've this has been done for me. I like this. I'm very happy with it. And uh, I just got an extra one done, and I'm going to give it away to you. And that's, that's basically it. Uh, but this top panel is removable. People were a little bit confused about this before. Now, this is the only thing that I've not done yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to have some um, uh, standoffs in here. So, because generally this roof is meant to be removed, but I'm going to have some standoffs in the top to just hold it about an inch away from this. So we can still get a relatively good amount of airflow. Um, I know the camera never kind of like picks it up properly. Oh look, you can see the reflective up there a bit, but that's, you've got the reflective. This, the OC is reflective and even the red on it is reflective. I know it can be a bit of a pain in the bum to try and, you know, show you how it works, but it does, when, you, when you're walking past it, 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 just all different angles will just come alive. Um, so that's the top and you can see all the stripes go straight over the top. And then when we come down to the front, where it's going on the Acer stand, we have got the uh, ROG front base. Now, the, we've got a review for this live on the Rush Kit channel, um, but you can see it says USB at the moment. That's just because the system's off. If we turn the, the rig on, you'll see this is a post outlet here, and then it'll eventually, we have got it only running at stock, I will say, because um, I've not been through and put all the overclocks through it and everything like that yet. But I will get that done before it uh, goes to I series. This will probably the CPU frequency here will probably realise uh, will probably read that it's about 4.6. Now that does say 0547, but it, there is a PM by the side. That's about the only thing that I don't like about this. I wish that it did have uh, a 24-hour clock option, but we can go through and we can see all of the. Oh, hang on, we can go through and see all of the CPU, CPU2, because I've got all the fans on the inside wired up to the, um, the ROG base. Chassis 2, we've got nothing on. Chassis 3, we do have. And if we do want to kind of edit them, we can literally just go in and, oh, hang on. We can edit, press it, and we can turn the fan up from the front. 
We can say it's running at 343. If I go to edit, hang on, we will get there. Edit. It's because the rig's still starting up. That's why I shouldn't have done it yet. CPU 1, yeah, press it once. And then we can turn the fan up and you can see that dial going all the way round to 100. But anyway, we have done a full review on that. It's on the Rush Kit channel. Uh, but we don't really need to look at the front anymore. You can see that, that it's all uh, running and everything. So I'm just going to turn this off just so that I can move the case around and I'll show you it from the other side. Onto the back panel, uh, we went right the way down the, the back panel with the design. This is like a gloss black and I do really like the, uh, the gloss black on it to kind of mix the colours up. But again, you can see the kind of intense kind of stripes that we went for. This section here is the reflective with white over the top. There's another reflective of white over the top. You know, there's bits all over the place. Um, and again, it's just because I just wanted to do something slightly different. It means I've got something nice to look at in the office and I personally really like this. But also, something that I will show you which, you know, maybe a lot of people wouldn't. Um, now don't forget, the, the side panel is going to be closed, you can't see it, so we're not expecting it to be spectacularly tidy. And to be fair, it's not the tidiest thing since sliced bread. I'm going to just take the door off. It's not the tidiest rig since sliced bread. Um, but essentially I've got the minimum amount of cables in there that I could get away with. We've got the, uh, the solid state drive up here on a SATA power and basically it comes down SATA power and it goes down into a Molex. There's four on there but also that's driving the power because the um, rod base is a SATA and then we've got the H105 here as a SATA. So we've, and there's a spare SATA down here if I did want to wire one of these solid state drives up. Although these are just going to be in here uh, just for looks. I may even put the GTX240 over here and just have four matching drives in there. Again, just for looks because it's just for the show. Uh, when it comes back, I'll only ever have two in there because that one is my GTX240 Neutron, which is the operating system. And this one is a Force LS240, which has got uh, Origin, um, Steam and uh, Uplay on it and obviously with Origin now and Titanfall you, you need a huge drive which is why that, that's a 240. So that's the, the back side of it which is obviously something that you're not really going to see. You want to see the other side so I'm going to be quiet and we'll move on. Okay so business side this is a bit that everyone gets to see. We've obviously got a massive window and rather than just having the stripes coming down and stopping, we've kind of, we staggered the stripes. Uh, I think my OCD would have, gone, would have gone a bit crackers if, you know, the window was just completely bare. So for me, bringing the stripes down just means that it's not so much of a, a straight line and it just helps, you know, kind of make things a little bit more interesting. If I was going to do it again, some of the white stripes I'd probably bring up a little bit further off of the uh, reflective, but you know, this is all kind of a learning process. And like I said, we do this, this is just going to be a, our uh, graphics card review rig. Although you guys do get to win one, so you are quite lucky in that respect that we've, you know, we've got another one done, we've done another one, so that you guys, you know, have a chance to win one of these yourself. So don't forget, click the link. I will put a, a link for the competition in the video. I'll also put a link for the competition underneath. So if you would like a case just like this, we, we have got two and you can be in with a chance of winning it. Anyway, obviously it's a hinged door. So we'll take this off so that you can have a look. And uh, just so that you guys know, we've... Uh, We've got uh, an Asus Rampage 4 Extreme and Black Edition. There's a 4960X in there. There's uh, two Asus GTX 780 Ti Matrixes. There's uh, the Asus ROG front base. And then we go into the Corsair stuff. It's the Corsair 760T that we did custom. All the fans are Corsair AF um, white LED fans. Yes, even on the H105 cooler. I've done it for the show just so that there's white light inside. We've got a 16 gigabyte of Corsair Dominator Platinum in there. I've also got the uh, light bars added on the top, which is why you can see the little bits. They'll light up in a minute. You'll get to see those. The solid state driver is a GTX Neutron 240 gig. That's just my bench drive. I've said to you about those before, though. I may, you know, change those. 
We've got Corsair red braided cables in there. Uh, an AX1200i. This will probably be the last time you see the AX1200i uh, because I will be replacing that with an AX1500 watt. Now, there is massive overkill, but it's just the fact it's the, the biggest and the greatest thing Corsair are going to have. So it's just nice to have that in there for the bench rigs. And it also could hint at some stuff that I may need a little bit more powerful going forward. As I said, we've got a H105 in the roof, which is the thicker 38mm um, thick uh, radiator that they do. So we've got that in there. Plenty of cooling. Um, I also need to say a big thanks to the Parvin boys for the custom floor. Because we have put a custom floor in. I did have to change some of the mounts for the power supply and stuff. But what I will do is I will flick it on now so you can see it lit up. And then I think what I'll do is I'm just going to wander in like this. Hang on. Case doors in the way. Tom's prepared as ever. Right, so if we we go down, there are a lot of lights in the bottom of the case. And they're actually hidden. Where the door comes closed here, you can see that there's a lip. The, the LEDs are just behind there. You can see my hand. You can see that they're lit up. Now, these LEDs, they do come right the way down here. There's a little connector here, and they come right up the side as well, which is why you can see the SLI thing is lit up, because the LEDs come right the way up the side. What I've also done to help light the uh, OC3D logo up, which I might say the uh, boys at Parvum did another blinder for me, and then they pumped that out in no time. There is a 12 centimetre LED strip just on the bottom of the power supply here, it is actually super glued on because uh, I didn't want it to come off. Um, so I just made sure that it was never going to come off. All the other LEDs are actually super glued in there as well. Um, but it just helps light up the uh, OC3D logo in the floor. I just wanted to clean up where the fan was and I'm not going to be using the, uh, the hard drive mount. So I put the custom, mount, the custom floor in there and rather than just doing something plain or uh, vinyl, this is actually um, acrylic and it's all actually 3D you can see it all spins around so that's actually 5mm acrylic in the bottom um, now it's not fixed in place because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out before it goes up to the show and I will put it in uh, right at the last minute before the show opens just so that it can't get damaged or fall out or ping around or anything like that but as I said we've got the two GTX Matrix 780 ties, absolutely blinding uh, graphics cards. In fact, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to turn the light off, which is probably going to make zero difference to the way the video looks. But we have also got the, uh, like I said, the Dominator Platinums with the light bars. The fans are all uh, AF LED white ones as well. Uh, and I'm hoping that when it's all in the show and everything, it's all going to look all right the only thing that's kind of messing with me OCD at the moment is the mismatching solid state drives which I, uh, I like I said I'm probably going to hide the neutron and just put four drives in there that match just so that they they look they look right but if we come back again I know I'm messing around that is the rig we've obviously got the front base and everything in there as well but it would be nice to know what you think. Don't forget, this has only been put together just to go up for, to a show. It's not like a humongous custom mod that you may see, you know, not necessarily at that event, but at a lot of the other places. This is just a um, the, the test rig that I'm going to be using. So I don't think for a review site that is bad for a test rig. Uh, the only thing I did was chuck the Asus cards uh, in there. Obviously, I do use the Rampage 4 Extreme for my graphics card reviews anyway so it's we've just gone with a newer black edition uh, and made this one look a little bit more tarty for the show with those you know the what are they like 599 pound matrixes that we've got in there um, but again they're just in there for the show I just managed to blag an extra one from Asus to lend me one for a little bit um, but yeah I'm really happy with that I'm it's one of those ones I don't get to do stuff like this very often uh, and I Although, like I said, I know it's not an amazing mod and it, we've only got kind of off-the-shelf parts, this could, should give you guys an idea of how clean and how nice the rigs can look with a minimum, minimum amount of time. Because this, this hasn't, it's been something I've just been dipping in over the last few days. I've had a spare half an hour here while I benchmark some running. Oh, I'll, I'll do a little bit more, I'll do a little bit more there. And obviously the Parvum thing was outsourced. 
So it's, it's stuff that, you know, all of you guys can do at home. So if you do, make sure that you uh, give us a look on the OC 3D forums. We love build logs on there. But also, don't forget, if you would like a case like this, and I'm going to put the side panel back on now, because like I keep saying, we've got two, and it's in the hallway. I'm not going to bring the other one in here now, though. On the 760T review, though, we did uh, have the two cases side by side. Um, if you are interested in uh, winning a custom 760T like that or one of the Asus motherboards, etc., then click the link, get onto the competition. Uh, also, if you're online on the OC3D forums, so you will have to be a member for that bit, but if you're online at the end of the competition, we're not only going to be uh, giving everyone that's online a, uh, another entry, but also we may be in the run up to it giving away some random spur of the minute stuff um, as we go because I've uh, been having my loft converted and stuff recently and I've obviously done the office. So I've got a fair bit of stuff that we used to use for testing and stuff that I'm, I'm just going to end up giving away to forum members. I'm not saying what I'm doing because I really don't know which bits I'm going uh, to give away and stuff. But we are going to be giving away some goodie, goodie bags and stuff. Uh, and then the big fourth prize is going to be the TTL goodie bag, which we're not going to say is in it because I'm pretty much going to tailor it to whoever wins. Um, so, yes, make sure you uh, get in and take part. I'm now going to take some photos of this so that we can have an article on the website. But for now, at least, with what I'm assuming is the first custom 760T in the world, says the great Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, but anyway, yeah, lovely. See you later on. Tiny Tom Logan out. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, whatever.